In our last video, we explored the Chaden Hall Sanctuary, met our Dark Brotherhood family members, and received our first contract from Vicente Valtieri. In today's video, we will be executing that contract. I'm not sure how you feel about pirates, but you've got to kill one. A captain, in fact, on his ship, surrounded by his crew. Interested? Excellent. Here is what you must do. Go to the waterfront district of the Imperial City. There you will find a ship named the Marie Elena. Board the ship and find its captain, Gaston Toussaud. He'll be in his cabin. Eliminate Toussaud in any manner you see fit. The pirates have been moving a lot of cargo on board lately. You may be able to smuggle yourself on board in one of the packing crates. Oh, and one more thing. Get into the habit of asking your fellow family members about any current contract. Their insight may prove invaluable. First, let's ask around the sanctuary for any tips on eliminating Tussaud. I killed a pirate once. Of course, the ship was out to sea at the time, somewhere between Vardenfell and Solstheim. Now those were the days. So, your first contract. No chance for a bonus, huh? Oh, that's all right. You're better off. Who needs magic items when you've got raw skill? And the great thing about killing a target up close and personal is you can talk to him before you do it. You know, say something scary. Oh, for example, this one time, I had a contract to kill a little Nord girl at her birthday party. <laughs> she asked me if I was the jester. So I said to her, No, I am a messenger of death. <laughs> you should have seen the look on her face. <laughs> Anyway, she won't be seeing age six. I've traveled by prison ship. It was cramped and dark. There was little room to move around, but plenty of shadowy nooks to hide in. Remember that. The Marie Elena, you say? I've seen that ship. There's a unique balcony at the stern. My guess is it leads to the captain's cabin. Could be useful. With that intel, Let's head to the Imperial City Waterfront District and board the Maria Elena. There are a few different approaches we can take here. The first option is to board the ship by entering one of the cargo crates on the dock as Valtieri suggested. This allows us to covertly get onto the ship without having to deal with the pirates on the top deck. Once inside, we can move through the ship with ease. We can either sneak past the pirates on board or kill them as we move forward to the top deck. Remember, there is no bonus for this quest, so there is no penalty for how you choose to complete it. The lowest deck has no pirates, so we can easily move through it and take the ladder to the next level. On the mid-level, we will find two pirates having a conversation in the hallway. I'm telling you lad, it's bad luck. A woman on board a pirate vessel. <laughs> Back in my day, it never would have happened. Oh, come now. How many times has Malvola saved our necks, huh? Captain Tussaud keeps her on for a reason. She's a better sailor than any one of us. In order to sneak past them, we can hide out in the bedroom right around the corner and wait for their conversation to finish. Hold there, laddie. Now you're just being insulted. She may be tougher than me, and Mina too, but a better sailor? It ain't even possible. All right, how could I forget? That time we were almost dashed upon the rocks near the city of First Hold. That was somebody else at the helm. I told you a million times it wasn't my fault. The wheel was covered with gold droppings. My hand slipped. It could have happened to anyone. Well, it's never happened to Malvolus, has it? You know why? Because she could sail better than you in her sleep, you old fool. Ah, you mark my words, boy. That dark elf trollop is bad luck. The captain will end up dead with her around. You'll see. You'd better watch your tongue, old man. Captain Tussaud hears you talking like that. He'll cut it out. Now, come on. We've been gabbing long enough. Once they are done chatting, they will move out of the hallway, giving us an opportunity to sneak right into the captain's cabin. Once inside, we come face to face with Mr. Tussaud. You ain't one of me crew. What business you be having here, mate? What in blazes? You ain't one of me crew. 
You best start explaining yourself, mate, if you want to get off this ship alive. We have three dialogue options here. If we say nothing... Oh, so you want to get cute, do you? All right then, mate. We'll do this the hard way. The Dread Father summons you. Ah, what are you, some kind of preacher or something? One of them crazies from the church? I ain't got time for this. Justice is at hand, pirate. Justice? (laughs) Ah, I've been avoiding that all my life, mate. Let me show you how. No matter which option we choose, Gaston immediately becomes hostile. (laughs) Once we've dispatched with Tussaud, we can start looting the room, but we hear a knock on the door. Captain Tussauds, are you alright, sir? Oh. 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 We're coming in. Die, unbeliever. Oh. Yeah. Two more pirates come in to check on their captain. This event is triggered by Gaston's death, so it is incredibly difficult to avoid unless you decide to bail out of the room immediately. I was also unlucky enough to have a random mythic dawn assassin come after me at the same time as the pirates. This made for a tough fight. I had to resort to chugging potions and blocking with a heavy shield to survive. With the pirates dead, we are now free to loot the rest of the room. There is a Nern root on the dinner table toward the back of the cabin. You can also grab some sweet rolls and grapes if you're hungry. Next to Tuso's bed, we find a locked chest which can easily be opened with a key that we can take from Tussaud's body. Inside, we find some gold and gems. On Tussaud's desk, we find a weird note that reads, Remove the top first. Reach inside and take out all the parts, being careful to note their order. Put the carving onto the rod. Reinsert the rod into the cavity. Replace the parts in the order you remove them. Seal the top with pine tar. Okay. The remainder of the cabin contains nothing much of value, aside from a bottle of Tamika's Vintage 399. Now that we've gotten our hands onto Captain Tussaud's booty, let's explore a few more ways we can complete this quest. The second method is to jump onto the balcony on the back of the ship. It is best to wait until nighttime to do this so you can avoid detection from the pirates. Once we're on the balcony, we can sneak into the cabin and eliminate Tussaud. This method is much quicker than sneaking through the entire ship. Another way to reach the cabin is to simply snipe the pirates off the top deck and surrounding dock area using our bow. Be sure that the guards do not see you attacking the pirates or you will incur a bounty. However, if you are undetected and you strike the pirates with an arrow, the guards will chip into the fight if they see the pirates attacking you. My homeboy, Hieronymus Lex, helped me cut one of the pirates down. Never compromise. Never blink. Never wink at injustice. Never quit trying to make this a better city for everyone. We'll be seeing more of him later during the Thieves Guild questline. Once the path is cleared, we can board the Maria Elena and enter Tussaud's cabin. A fourth method we can do is to poison Tussaud. If we enter the captain's cabin while he is asleep, we can reverse pickpocket a poisoned apple into his inventory. These apples can be purchased from Mirage Dar in the Chaden Hall Sanctuary. Once the apple is in his inventory, we then need to confiscate all other food from his inventory and room. This will make the poison apple the only option for him to eat. With the apple in place, I waited about one day and then re-entered the cabin to see if he had eaten it. I arrived just in time for his midnight snack. He died the moment he took a bite. I read online that this method is the only one which will not trigger the two pirates to enter the room, but they still came in during my playthrough. Now it is possible to avoid the pirates coming into the cabin if we are very fast. I suggest quickly grabbing the key off Tuso's body, looting the contents of the chest, and then running out the door. Once outside, we can jump off the ship and swim to safety before the pirates have a chance to retaliate. The final method we'll discuss is Gogrin's favorite. Go loud. Just run up and start swinging your sword at the pirates. When doing this, you can also get the guards into the mix by running onto the ship 
and then running back out onto the docks. The pirates will chase you, making the Legion guards immediately hostile towards them. Once all the pirates have been dispatched, we can return to the top deck and enter the captain's cabin. Regardless of which method you choose, once Gaston Tussaud is dead, we can return to Vicente to report the news and receive our reward. So, the pirate has been eliminated. Excellent. No one will mourn his passing, and Sithis has been appeased. Please accept this black band as your reward. It is a ring whose powers are quite useful to those who value discretion. With this, Valtieri gives us the black band, a leveled enchanted ring that fortifies light armor, security, and magic between 3 and 18 points depending on your level. So who wanted two so dead? Let's talk about the motive. Well, we don't learn much about why Tussaud became a Dark Brotherhood target, but we can venture an educated guess. Pirates spend their lives robbing ships and reselling their cargo. Tussaud had been operating for years and likely made many enemies among merchant companies throughout Cyrodiil. One day he robbed the wrong people. People who wouldn't mind having him eliminated if his piracy hurt their bottom line profits. And so one of these companies performed the Black Sacrament and hired the Dark Brotherhood to kill Gaston Tussaud. In our next video, we'll be heading to Bruma to stage an... accident. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Big Dan for more Elder Scrolls videos like this one. I will be going through the entire Oblivion Dark Brotherhood questline in this series, so stay tuned for that. You can access all videos in the series in a playlist linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. This is Big Dan Gaming. Until next time, see ya!